Hello and welcome to Puzzle Master. This is the Puzzle Guy and in this video I will show you how to solve the Jigsaw 28 puzzle. This puzzle was designed by Yu Osaka, a famous puzzle designer who created such amazing puzzles as Jigsaw 29, Jigsaw 19 and others. And this puzzle was made by Hanayama, another famous brand which creates amazing puzzles. The difficulty level of the Jigsaw 28 puzzle is 8 out of 10 on a Puzzle Master's difficulty scale that runs from 5 to 10. And the goal of the puzzle is to fit all 28 parts inside the frame. But there is a twist, there are too many edge pieces in this puzzle and you have to find the correct spot for each and every one of them. If you tried some other jigsaw puzzles from Yuasaka, you know that uh, they always have a twist. At a first glance, it looks like a regular jigsaw puzzle. You have a corner piece here, another corner piece here, two more corner pieces here. But once you start putting the edge pieces, you will find that there are too many of them here, but you still have to put everything inside the frame. So it will be quite an interesting challenge and it will take you quite some time before you will find the correct assembly. If you like the Jigsaw 28 puzzle and you want to buy it, go to puzzlemaster.ca and if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, keep watching the video. And now I will show you how to solve the puzzle. Actually, there is a uh, small uh, note that comes with the puzzle. It holds the solution and each piece has a small number uh, on it uh, and the solution shows you where to put each and every piece. But if you lost this piece of paper and you don't know how to solve the puzzle, I'll show you. So first of all, you grab a piece with number 14 and put it in this corner. Then in this corner will be a piece with number 8. In this corner will be piece number 6 and in this corner will be piece number 26. Then we put a piece number 27 and put it right here, but you have to flip it so that the number will be on the bottom. Then the piece number 23 goes here. So everything looks quite normal now. Then this piece with number 18 goes here and the piece with number 5 goes right in here. Then we grab a piece number 19, which is quite unusual and we put it right here. As you can see, we still have some space between the parts, but we will leave it for the other pieces. Then we grab a piece number 22, put it right here next to the corner part. The next one will be piece number 7 that goes right here. Again, everything looks quite normal, nothing really challenging. Then piece number 1 goes here on top. Piece number 16 goes right here and another one with number 12 goes here. And then, as you can see, we still have a couple of uh, edge pieces left. We will start with this one. It will be a piece number 25. It goes right into this opening. Then we have a piece number 10. It will go right here in the middle. But I guess I have to flip it on the other side to fit it nicely. Then we have a couple of other interesting parts. This is an edge piece but it doesn't go to the edge of the frame. It goes right here. And then another piece with number 11. It goes here. If it doesn't fit, that means that you have to flip it upside down in order to fit it inside the frame. Yep, that's it. We have a couple of more parts left and now it will be more and more difficult to solve it. This is the piece number two. It goes right here. We have only nine parts left and we still have to find a spot for each and every piece. So here number 13 it goes right here. What other parts do we have here? This one is number 28 and 28 goes right here but you have to flip it so that you will fit it nicely. Then we have a couple of spots for these large pieces. This one has number 21 and I guess 21 goes in here. Then we have number 24 
it goes into this spot. I guess I have to flip it. And we have less and less parts left. This one has number three and I'll put it into this corner. Then I guess we have only a couple of similar parts left. This one, oh, not this one, this one. You go in here. We have just three parts left and we have to find which goes where. This one will have number 15 goes here. Number 17 goes into this spot. And we have only one part left. As you can see, it is an edge piece again, but it fits right in the middle of the frame. And that is the solution of the Jigsaw 28 puzzle. As you can see, quite unusual one. You don't see any regular Jigsaw pieces where you put the edge piece in the middle of the frame or a bunch of edge pieces in the middle of the frame. And here there are a couple of interesting connections where inside of one piece goes uh, not one, but two pieces that is unusual for such puzzles as well. That was the solution of Jigsaw 28 puzzle. If you like this puzzle and you want to try some other amazing puzzles designed by Yu Osaka, go to puzzlemaster.ca. Thank you for watching. See you next time.